a new vlog. Today we are in Brighton. I'm going to have to put my sunglasses on because it's bright. But we've just arrived. It took us about an hour to get here. Uh, we struggled a little bit with parking because last time I came here was um, on the train. So we've come to Regency Square parking. Um, it's going to cost us about £18 per day. Boring, I know, but just to let you know, if anybody else comes here, it seems like a good-ish spot. So, we've arrived in Brighton. It's lovely. I love all the old, like, buildings and hotels and things. So yeah, I'm excited to show you around. Jeremy's here as well, obviously. I've got my camera, he's got his drone, so hopefully we'll be getting some good shots and photographs and things. So, yeah, I'm excited. So this is Regency Square. I guess these are apartments, but I think there's a big hotel there at the back. Regency Square Hotel. So there's Jeremy, and then there's also the British Airways I360, which I think, you can see that glass thing there, so people are standing in there, and then it goes up to the top and you get um, amazing views of Brighton. So I don't know if we're gonna do that, but that's fun if you want to do that. So we've made it to the beach, which was not far, <laughs> but this house is upside down. I'm not sure what is in there, if it's like some, like entertainment thing with mirrors or I don't know. But anyway, this is the beach. There's an old pier. And I love this like old building with the ticket signs. I think it's so cute. So this is what I was talking about. There's people in there and it's going up and they're gonna get amazing 360 views of Brighton. So that's cool. So there's this exhibition called Lost and Found and it's somebody's obviously taken things from the beach and then photographed them and made them look quite beautiful. I mean obviously the point is to put things in the bin but that's all lighters which I think is cool. Plastic toys can travel thousands of miles on ocean currents help help clean up our beaches that's really cool oh then there's the house oh my god they're taking a picture that's so cool i feel like i need a picture with this house and then the other thing we're doing today is seeing rich who is paper boyo on instagram we interviewed him for the podcast and he lives in brighton so we've messaged him and we're going to catch up with him so that'll be really nice i think he's free soon so i think we're going to go and meet him um, but yeah, let's get a picture of this house before we move on to the next place. So where we've parked, there's these cute little shops. There's the Hat Hut, which I think is a brilliant name. There's lots of like clothes and hats and gifts and things like that. actually starts so we ended up meeting up with Rich who is Paper Boyo on Instagram we interviewed him for the podcast and he lives in Brighton luckily he was here so I've just spent about an hour and a half with him something like that which was so nice he showed us around and chatted about travel and life and work and lots of different things it was nice wasn't it yeah so this is I didn't really want to vlog while he was there because I don't know how he feels about being on YouTube but also it was nice just to chat to him and be present in the moment rather than filming but anyway, we saw a place that does sushi burritos, which is like two of my favorite foods. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try and find that and then probably eat it on the beach because it's quite nice today, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's warming up a bit. It was a bit colder this morning, but. Um, so we're gonna go for lunch, but we basically walked around the lanes, we walked down the pier, we went to see the pavilion. Um, we've done a lot of things that I didn't vlog because obviously I just wanted to be spending time with him. Take a lift, yeah. But, oh go down a really small, <laughs> um, what's this called, alleyway. Um, so yeah, I was present with him and like chat to him, but I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit more now of like where we are, what we're doing, what we're eating, what we're seeing, all the rest of it so you can see some of Brighton as well and also so that I remember the day. But yeah, just wanted to say that was lovely. But I'll show you where we're walking now. So we're walking down this alleyway. Apparently this sushi burrito place is about a five minute walk. But this is part of the lanes, which is um, shopping, 
place in Brighton with lots of small shops and cafes and restaurants and it's all like independent boutiques and things. So we decided we're going to go to Happy Mackey because they have sushi burritos which like I said is my kind of food and I think we're going to eat it on the beach. Okay so we are now on the beach. I hope you can hear me because it's windy and there's waves so this would be a good test for my microphone but we went to Happy Mackey and once we were in there we realised like outside it says the cost breakdown so like of your cost like the price of the food 48% goes to paying the staff 2% goes to charity this much goes to packaging this much goes to this that and the other and then Joey was like oh so that's 100% so that doesn't make any sense then we realised it's a not for profit restaurant so she kind of explained to us that you have the price it was about £21 for two rolls and then some crisps and two drinks and you can either like add 5% or take 5% and pay what you can afford or what you want to pay basically, which is so interesting. So we added a 10% um, to kind of, why not? We can it's afford not to. And, but it's not for profit. So that'll either go to charity or it'll go towards packaging or maintenance costs or whatever. So such an interesting idea. So I think we're going to try and find the owner and try and speak to her on the podcast. I think that'd be so fascinating. Anyway, we got, um, one of them is a hoisin duck wrap some kids behind me <laughs> one of them is a hoisin duck wrap and then the other one was like a chicken something chicken. Wasn't it? yeah chicken but it's vegan as well so it's like fake duck or fake chicken so um can you show what it looks like so that's what it looks like we've got two rolls we've got these veggie sticks and some kombucha so I'm excited to try this and we're sat with the pier in front of us as well so the pier is over there which is a lovely view so now we're going to enjoy our food We've just had lunch and we wanted to go on Brighton Pier again because I didn't film when we went on with Rich just because we were busy, like I said, chatting to him. So we're going to walk down again and I'm going to show you a little bit of what's on Brighton Pier because it's pretty cool. So there's donuts, of course there's fish and chips, very English. There's Jeremy. And then this is, not very English, and then this is the Brighton Pier. So we're going to head this way and see what there is. shops and they had sticks of rock which I thought they might do brilliant so I bought myself a rhubarb and cream or whatever it was a rhubarb flavor one and then I also saw they had a unicorn one so I got my little nephew who loves unicorns a unicorn one and then my other nephew I got him like a fruit one so I got them as little souvenirs which I think is quite cute even though my brother's not gonna be impressed because it's just pure sugar that I buy for my nephews but it's a nice little souvenir anyway why is this the most English thing I've ever seen? <laughs> People on deck chairs in shorts and things when it's cloudy and then fair rides in the background. Oh, and candy floss. So there's lots of rides up here including this old roller coaster, Turbo. There's bumper cars. We've just walked past a haunted house as well. There's this one in front that swings like up and down. <laughs> They've also got Wild River which is a log flume and these are my favourite types of rides and I would go on it but it's quite cold today and I don't fancy getting wet and then cold. But that's always fun. Okay, we've come to the bit where you can watch them. I didn't realise there was two drops. Ah! Oh. 
this is the one I was talking about that goes up and down and swings. No chance. Anyway, this is right at the end of the pier. So we might walk through some of these and see what's inside because I think it's all like games, machines and things. side of Brighton, the other side of the pier and right at the back there is the marina apparently so we might go for a drive up there later on because there's also some white cliffs I'm probably sure you can't see them so we might go up there later on otherwise this is the view from this side look at this hello kitty and friends cafe so cute anyway we're now walking back into town. I think we're gonna go through the lanes again because there's lots of them, <laughs> lots of lanes and we didn't really look in any of the shops or we were too busy chatting. So I think it'll be nice to look around and see what there is to see a little bit. But I love the buildings here and I love the bunting and like all the independent shops and, oh, there's a gunsmith. Okay. Yeah, random. But it's nice to walk around anyway and see a bit of like, like, you, you would have liked that? Oh, uh, what the pitta? I would have liked that. That sounds delicious. Supernatural. It seems like there's a lot of um, healthy eating shops here, which is quite nice. Anyway, I'll show you if we see anything else. Beautiful. Right then, we are back in the lanes, as they call it. Walking around. We've only just entered the lanes, to be honest, but be nice to look at some of the shops and cafes and things. That's so cute up there. Should we go this way? This is where we came, wasn't it, I think. Looks lovely. Okay, so this bit's like the jewellery section. So there's loads of jewellers with all like old rings and things, I guess. But it's such a cute, tiny lane. And down here as well, you can see the Lanes Armoury, number 26. Wow. <laughs> right then, we've decided to come down Bond Street because it looked quite colourful. I don't think I came down this one last time, so it'd be nice to see again some of the shops and... Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Okay, so we kept going, so I guess this is still Bond Street, but again, lots of cute, colourful, like, shops and cafes and things. <laughs> oh, looks lovely. Oh, some legs up there, sticking out the wall. So we walked past this place, it says, our number one ice matcha tea, but they have um, matcha lemonade and different teas. So we decided to get some. Jeremy got um, iced matcha with oat milk and I got matcha lemonade. So we're gonna try it. Cheers. <laughs> That's good. That's delicious. The lighting is awful, I know, but I just went into Bert's home store. Absolutely loved it. I'm going to show you what I saw in there, a couple of clips. But we're going to keep walking and see what else we can see. But we're enjoying this, walking around and drinking our drinks and looking around the shops and things. It's all so colourful and bright here. I love it. Right, we have finished with walking around the lanes, for now at least. We are now walking towards the pavilion, I think it's called. We're going to go around the front. 
and we were here earlier with Rich, but it's nice to come back again. And I think Jeremy's going to try and fly his drone, depending on the bird situation, because seagulls do like to attack his drone, so we're going to give it a go, we'll see. But are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, it's a nice place. It's nice, Brighton. I can actually see myself kind of living here, because I think it's nice how everyone can like express themselves, and I find it so awkward when there's someone right behind me. Anyway, I was saying it's nice that everyone can like express themselves like, as people like with different hair colours, different tattoos, like different clothing and like everyone's kind of accepted. And I like how there's lots of different buildings and different colours and cafes and shops and all the rest of it. So it's a really nice place. I could definitely see us coming back here because it seems quite like open and free. And I would imagine it's probably quite a good um, yoga community here as well because it seems like those type of people. So. Yeah, I think if I was to live anywhere in the UK, it'd probably be here. Plus, it's, they've got the beach, which is nice. Mm. Oh, also, I dropped my phone what? and scuffed the corner of my phone, which I'm not happy about. But it, at least it didn't break my cameras, but um, not great. Right, we're now at the front, so I'll show you that when we get there. Right then, we are back here. I was here earlier, so you might have seen a little clip. But again, I wasn't vlogging because we were with Rich. But this is the... King's Palace and apparently it was inspired by his trips to India and I was saying these remind me of um, ice gems I'll put a little picture of what ice gems are on screen if you're not from England but it's a very beautiful building okay we have just finished at the pavilion I took a little photograph and some videos Jeremy got some drone photos and videos so I'm gonna pop them in so you can see them We are now going to head towards the pier again, so Jeremy can join the pier and then I don't know if we'll either walk through town or walk along the beach to get back to the car, but we're still just taking our time, we're not in any rush, but then we have made it back to the beach and the pier is just in front of me. The smell of fish and chips is incredible, but Jeremy's about to get his drone out and fly over the pier, hopefully, and get some pictures and videos. So I'll make sure to insert that, but yeah, lovely. So we're walking back to the car and we've just seen these cute beach huts that I wanted to film because this is what, like, English seaside is to me is like cute little beach huts. I think it's maybe part of a bar and you can get a table but they're cute. Right then we have been sat on the pier here, well not on the pier, we've been sat on the beach looking out to the old pier just chatting, catching up on life. I also posted on Warrior Flow School because I'm now their like social media person. I'll leave that link below if you want to go have a look but yeah. I was just saying to Jeremy, it's so nice to sit and listen to the waves and like have that. Like if I ever live anywhere, like buy a house, I think it has to be next to water because I do love the sound of waves and just being out here. So that was lovely, but we're now going to walk back up to the car. I think the plan is to drive maybe to the marina and then maybe keep going because there's some cliffs over there. So we'll see. But um, yeah, we do like Brighton. It's been a good day. Brighton and we drove east I don't know um, along to just before a place called Rotting Deer Beach which I know is not a very nice name but along here there's like huge white cliffs so Jeremy's gonna try and fly his drone I think and try and get some pictures of the white cliffs here and then there's also a windmill which looks cute and it's it's annoying because it's sort of raining but then sort of not so I'm not sure if he's gonna have a chance to fly which is a shame because it'll be nice if he did I'm going up this way but um yeah I mean you can see behind me the the oceans the ocean's quite far down and then there's white cliffs from there so we're walking up towards a windmill don't know what's up here <laughs> hopefully Jeremy can fly his drone get some shots of the windmill get some shots of the um cliffs and that'd be good wouldn't it See. Yeah. It's stupid English weather. <laughs> so this is the windmill that we're walking up towards. 
a black one. It's fine here, and then you can see over there. I don't know what this building is, maybe like a cafe or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, and then that down there is what was it, Rotting Deer? <laughs> Rotting Deer Beach, it's such a gross name. Anyway, right. Jeremy's hopefully going to fly the drones while I'll insert the footage and photographs, so enjoy that. Some drone footage. I really hope you enjoyed that. It was so fun watching, being like, wow, like the huge white cliffs. So that was cool. Um, we're either going to head home or head to the Brighton Marina before we leave, just because I like boats and I like going to marinas and taking pictures of all the boats and the reflections and things like that. So we might go and have a look. Yeah, we might as well, help we, while we're here? It's on the way anyway, so we'll go and stop there first. So I'll show you that. Um, and then we'll just be heading home but yeah next stop marina then so we've made it to the marina oh <laughs> so we've made it to the marina car park and i just waited to come here to see the boats but it looks like there's a it looks like it's like a whole village here there's like an asda and shops and restaurants and yeah let me just show you from up here because it looks quite big i only really wanted to see boats so this is the view, that's obviously the white cliffs where we were earlier, but we were like further down. It's like a little village. So I don't really know where the boats are. Oh, over there I can see the masts. But yeah, seems pretty big. Okay, so we've made it to the marina. This is way bigger and nicer than I was expecting. So I'm gonna flip you around in a second and show you, but lots of boats, but also like there's a Pizza Express, there's restaurants, there's a Cafe Rouge taste whatever that is there's a place called the west key which looks like it was probably the boathouse or something many years ago at least it looks like that so i'll show you that as well in a second and then behind me there's apartment blocks so it's way bigger than i was expecting i was thinking it would just be like a small marina but it's actually really nice and then you can see the white cliffs over there so i think i might go i don't know we'll see but yeah lovely let me show you so these are the apartments behind me that i was showing you and then this is the marina, so there's all these boats. And again, like I said, you can see the white cliffs all the way over there. Um, I guess that's apartment buildings, those kind of yellow ones in the background. And then there's restaurants. And then this was the one I was telling you about, the West Key, that looks like it was probably the boat, some sort of boathouse, I don't know. <laughs> looks like it, probably not, but I think on a nice day, on a nice sunny day, I think this would be beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to get some snaps and then we might go for a little walk around there, I guess. I've just noticed these water lodge floating apartment. That would be so much fun to rent a floating apartment for like a week or so. How cool is that? So that's where I was standing over there earlier. This is just another view of all the boats and things. And this boardwalk is lovely as well because it's nice to sort of walk along and you've got the boats on one side and then restaurants and things on the other side so it's lovely feels like i think if it was sunny it would feel like being on holiday wouldn't it but because it's rainy it feels like being in england <laughs> so jeremy's popped to the toilet and i came round the back because he'd seen a sign saying like to the village this way so we thought okay we'll go and see what the village is and i think it's a shopping center it's in front of me i'm not sure what it is but um, anyway, it's raining, so I think we're not going to probably spend much longer here. It's nice to have a look and, you know, see what it's about. But I think we're probably going to head back soon. But let me show you the village that was, like, signposted and doesn't seem that big. <laughs> so this is the village. I guess it's that little section, like that building. So I don't know if that's going to be 
apartments or restaurants or shops. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it does look like a little, they're cute, little housing place. And then this is like the back of the marina. Okay, so these are definitely apartments. Beautiful. And then there's way more boats. So it's quite a big marina. It's a good size, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of boats there. There's a lot of seagulls as well. You can probably hear them. And then that's kind of the other way. So we've just walked along here. Right, I've just been taking some pictures here and I'm going to insert them because I think it's lovely how you can see the reflection of the boats and the buildings like in the water. Right, we are back in the car, ready to head back to my brother Ollie's and Eleanor's. We are knackered. I just checked my health app and apparently I walked over 20,000 steps today. So no wonder I'm tired, no wonder my back hurts. But it was a good day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. It was nice That's seeing nice. Brighton and like, nice you know, the lanes and seeing Rich as well was awesome. And then coming here and seeing the White Cliffs and then seeing the boats and things. So I've had a pretty full day. We've seen a lot and done a lot, but it has been good. Right, so we are going to head back home because we're knackered, like I said, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave any links to anything that I might have mentioned in the, descri in the description box. You can tell I'm tired because I can't talk properly. But thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day. Bye.